<laughs> but it also it reminds me, things I need to take into account when I travel because of my mobility issues is actually simple things like contacting the hotels and saying, I'm a baby elephant and can't walk, what's the distance from the elevator to the room? And invariably they say, that's fine sir, it's, it's right next door. And very often it's the next county. <laughs> it's not next door at all. I was in Dublin recently. Oh, don't worry, sir. It's just round the corner. <laughs> so I turned around the corner and I had to walk a very long corridor to then turn right to walk another long corridor to turn left, and there it was. <laughs> so, I, so, and then when I got there, <laughs> accessible rooms, they put, they put uh, bars up for people to be able to grab. And there was this, because I always asked for either a wet room or a walk-in shower. Now this shower was really a pot. Uh, any of you know Virginia Hay? Yes. Yes, Virginia. She's a very thin, she's about that thin, right? About that thin. And even she couldn't get into the shower. <laughs> but fortunately there was a bath, right? That had a loose shower head. But it, well, you couldn't book it on it. So. But there was no grab bar. All the grab because the rules say there must be at least five grab bars. Well, they were. They were over there, <laughs> and the bars over here. And so that's when you realise the people who design these things aren't disabled at all. They've just they need five grab bars. Let's just chuck them in there. <laughs> so then, so because I couldn't get into the shower, I thought, well, I'll I'll use the bar. So that's it. I grabbed the shower head, put the water on, and it was like this snake. So suddenly, I had a wet room. <laughs> so I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll have a bath. Because actually, it was quite quiet. And what I do is I sit on the end and I launch or something. <laughs> so I had this bath and it was very enjoyable. But then I had to get out. And what I have learned is don't take the water out first. I need the buoyancy. <laughs> but the soapy water, I couldn't get purchased, so I couldn't think. So I was sliding all over and I couldn't get out of the bar. <laughs> so what I had to do in the end was rather like with a trolley, I had to roll out. I rolled out onto the floor and landed like some beached whale. <laughs> uh, and, um, and then, of course, because the snake had done its business earlier, the place was absolutely covered in water. <laughs> I couldn't get up. Uh, couldn't get up at all. So, <coughs> so in the end, I decided what I'll do is I'll roll over to the door, open the door, and roll out onto the carpet in the room, <laughs> which was all well and good until I started to panic. Because in accessible rooms, they have a red cord that you can pull. Now, I invariably pull this cord at least once, because for some reason, I don't know why, but I had noticed that uh, when, they, when they do the room, they tie the red cord to the arm that is used on the toilet. So if you're not aware that it's tied there, some people, I don't need it, but some disabled people need a bit of assistance to push themselves off the toilet. And so you just pull a bar down. Well, they've tied the cord to it, so you pull the bar down. <laughs> and then to reset it is completely the opposite end of the bar. So you can't even reset it yourself. And then the phone rings. <laughs> Check, are you okay? Well, no, you're stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> and then if they can't, they, 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 they've got their own master key to get into your room. Now, flaying around on the bathroom floor, <laughs> rolling out into the room, it suddenly thought, I suddenly thought, oh, fuck, I didn't catch the red cord tonight. And it was a panic, 15, 25, so moved very quickly. Because like, it was just the thought that they were going to open the door and finally <laughs> So those are the things that need to be taken into consideration. Uh, it's all right. It's all good now, really. Are the 10 minutes up? Yes, I saw, well, I saw somebody put you put the heck around the corner, and they looked very quizzically. So all I can say is, are there any last questions? Yes. Can I just please have you say hi to Lily and Lola real quick? Hi, Lily and Lola, real quick. <laughs> Thank you. It's all still waiting for you. The fields of Trenton Law, the fall of the 11th, 
and the question. That must never be answered. Hidden in plain sight, the question you've been running from all your life. Doctor who? Doctor 